Hi eBay sellers, it's time for another supersized sales of $100 or more. The sales in this video come from my Facebook group where we have a thread every month where sellers can post their sales of $100 or more. So if you want your item to be considered for inclusion in this video, you need to join the Facebook group and post your sale there. I'm still getting quite a few emails with sales and unfortunately I just don't have the time to consolidate all of that. Everything needs to be on this thread for possible inclusion in this video. So let's get started and give everybody their two minutes of fame <laughs> on YouTube. First up is Andrea Nolt, paid $6 at a yard sale, sold for best offer in three months for $100. The item is 3D pink rose flowers Afghan blanket. So you can see it has the white background with the pink roses. $6 sold for $100. Rosanna Smoker. Shout out to Money Making Mondays. I was looking at it sometime this summer and saw a lantern similar to this one. I said, wait, I have one of those on my deck. I had picked it up at a yard sale earlier this summer for myself. Realizing the potential profit, I had to list it. I'm thinking I paid $3 and took an offer of 100 plus shipping after about a month. What a nice surprise. This is a cast iron Japanese bonsai hanging pagoda garden candle lantern. Lots of great keywords there. And I too have seen this pop up a few times. So this style of candle holder or lantern is quite popular. Alicia Pitcher. Free to me, my neighbor who is a collector of all things, cleaning out garage with the help of her daughter. Sold within a couple of weeks for best offer of $100. Had it listed at $120. This is a vintage Elgin wristwatch. Very pretty. Sue Ann Acres. I bought this at Goodwill for $2.99 two months ago. Sleepwear is very inexpensive at Goodwill. I always check it out. I listed it for $129.99 or best offer. Received an offer of $85. I was tempted to accept it, but decided to counter with $100 if for no other reason than being able to post the sale here. They accepted my counter offer and paid immediately. Vintage Victoria's Secret Women's Nightgown. And this doesn't look like the later Victoria's Secret. This is more conservative. Some of the later styles were more sexy and satin and low cut and all that kind of thing. So this is more of a granny nightgown, but um, these still sell. This style of nightgown is still worn by plenty of people. Tiffany Takao bought at thrift store last week for $3, sold for 100 after listing for 125. Zuri is the brand. Z-U-R-I. That's a new one for me, so I am going to file that one away in my brain. This is Zuri Women's Extra Small Pink Brown Dress Made in Kenya. So that's going to be the defining factor when you are looking at the labels on clothing. Zuri Made in Kenya. Crystal Montalto, found at Goodwill in with the robes, paid $4, sold in a week for best offer of $100, listed for $125 plus shipping. I brought my mom thrifting that day, so now she is my good luck charm. This is a vintage 1940s or 50s Purcells 
red velvet opera swing coat. And I wonder if this is going to be used as a costume piece or if somebody's just going to wear it. Looks like it could be a costume piece for theater, drama, cosplay, whatever. Okay, Wendy Krueger, Whiting and Davis Metal Mesh Bib Necklace. Paid $8 at a market, sold for $100 plus shipping in 15 months. And Whiting and Davis is known for their vintage evening bags, beaded small evening bags uh, that could look like this bib necklace. So that's interesting. I didn't realize they also made jewelry. Marie Hamilton has an interesting item. Estate sale find for $10, took three months and sold for full price. Buyer asked if I would include a note to her sister who's receiving this kitty as a birthday present. Of course! The item is Tiffany style 10 inch stained glass table lamp in the shape of a cat. That is very unusual. Janae Brookins paid $6 for both at a thrift store sold in about three months. Crabtree and Evelyn Sienna shaving cream and bath shower gel sold for $110. And this is one of those probably discontinued scents that only increase in price over time because the less there is of something, the more it's going to be worth. So for those of you out there finding this type of thing, always go in high and wait because eventually yours might be the only one left and you can set the price. Margie De Molina paid $2 at Goodwill for this Disney Bolt interactive plush toy sold for best offer of $110 plus shipping in three weeks. I didn't even know if it worked or that it was rare until I got home. I tried to auction first starting at $100 with several watchers, then listed high as buy it now and was happy to accept this offer. Their first offer was $30 less. This is a rare Disney Bolt plush light up laser eyes and I've seen this appear a few times on the Money Making Mondays. Uh, Bolt is the dog's name. So take a look at this and be on the lookout when you are out there going through the plush. Beth Tompkins found this at the Goodwill for a dollar and one cent. Sold for a hundred and ten dollars plus shipping in about two weeks. Build Bear Zombear Zombie Teddy 16 inch Halloween retired. A dollar sold for a hundred and ten. And Beth lives in the same area I do, so I'm glad you found that, Beth. <laughs> um, so maybe we can run into each other at a thrift store at some point, but um, yeah, these things are out there. They're popping up everywhere. Lynn Danner found this amazing hybrid Saletti cake stand for $4 at a church garage sale. I listed it for $135 and took best offer of $115. I had it listed for less than a week. I may have been able to hold out for more, but it's huge and took up a decent amount of room. So $4 and it sold for $115. Very interesting, almost patchwork style ceramic cake stand. Julie Gambino purchased this at an antique shop for $18.99. They are clearly marked Crown Trafari, but the seller only listed them as a vintage rhinestone. Sold after a couple of months for best offer of $115. So you can see their vintage 1961 Crown Trafari blue-green rhinestone pin and clip-on 
earrings. And Wendy Kruger, who sells a lot of jewelry, commented that she had the same set in a gold and amber color. Mine took forever to sell. I think this is part of the Radiance collection. And Wendy has agreed to come on a podcast and share some information about jewelry. So that will be coming up in the near future. Jody Clark paid $16.12 at Goodwill for three bags of Littlest Pet Shop toys and accessories. Sold in one day for best offer of $120 plus $15 shipping. So you can see all those itty bitty toys, Littlest Pet Shop, lot of 80 cats, dogs, animal mix, and parts, 100 plus pieces. She paid $16 and it sold in one day for $120. Diane Stumpf picked up this Georgia O'Keeffe lithograph at my local thrift store last April. I paid $25 for this. It sold on best offer of $125 on October 30th. This was one of two Georgia O'Keeffe art prints I bought at the same time. Both have sold for over $100. This is my fifth piece of large art to sell and ship in the past six months. I am getting better at packing them, but it's still a thing. (laughs) Yeah, I hear you on that, Diane. I think that keeps a lot of people from venturing into larger and fragile items. It's just the packing. They get hung up on the packing and shipping. So I like how you're taking baby steps and just doing a little bit at a time. Selling five pieces in six months is really a great pace. Here's a very cool find. Rachel Hilst paid $10 for this Star Trek mini fridge at Goodwill. It sold for $142 plus shipping on a seven day auction. This is a Star Trek Borg cube mini refrigerator. And I showed two pictures that Rachel had in her listing. One of the item lit up and one not. And it really just looks like a big black box. (laughs) So you might not even know what it is um, or that it lights up. So I'm just putting that out there so you guys can be on the lookout for it. $10 sold for $142. Wendy Kruger is back with a belt vintage YSL belt green suede gold trim paid six dollars at an annual church fair sold for 125 plus shipping in three months Sue Gerwig my daughter inherited all of her grandmother's brooches and decided to go through them and select the ones she wanted to keep and me her mother to sell some of the others. This is the first one I have put up to sell. Vintage Avon Elizabeth Taylor Hearts and Tandem Double Horse Head Brooch. Started the auction at $129.97, sold for $149.38 plus shipping. And that really is beautiful with the double horse head. I wonder if that went to a horse person. Okay, next up is Nancy Sell. And yes, that's her real name. (laughs) I commented a couple of videos back. Is that your real name or is that just a Facebook name? And Nancy Sell, that's her real name. She bought this machine-made quilt set for $10 at a yard sale. Took best offer of $150. Buyer paid shipping. I used a space bag. The item is Holiday Christmas Winter Quilt, full queen size. That is so pretty. Lots of blankets and quilts in this video. I guess we're getting into winter and holidays are coming, so people are feeling festive. Max Green found this Bella Freud sweater at Salvation Army for $2. Sold in two months for best offer of 150. 
Bella Freud sweater cashmere rainbow horseshoe. Two dollars sold for a hundred and fifty. And Max has agreed to come on a podcast because she sells a lot of expensive items too. So that is coming in the near future. Tina Wozniak paid $137 at auction as part of a lot of Hot Wheels. Each car was $4.47. Sold overnight for $150, heading to Canada. There is one more that should sell for this price. Catalog Lady is back. (laughs) I tease Tina because she sold a whole bunch of catalogs a while back, just one after the other that she found in a barn and they were free and old JCPenney and Sears catalogs. So I gave her that nickname, but now she is the Hot Wheels lady. (laughs) Um, She just keeps changing her identity. (laughs) Rachel's back with another one. I paid about $10 for this Disney figure in a lot of Disney stuff I bought on Facebook Marketplace. I took a best offer of $160 plus shipping after about two months. This is a Mickey Mouse painting Walt Disney figurine, meaning Mickey Mouse is sitting there painting a picture of Walt Disney's face. (laughs) $10 sold for $160. Ginger Lamprite. Bought this on Friday for $10 at a fundraiser garage sale. Listed it on Sunday. Sold Monday night. I had it listed at $199.99, but sent an offer of $175, which they accepted. This was the first San Marcos blanket I've ever found. So listen up, students. San Marcos is a thing to look for. Lisa Marie asked, That's a lot for a San Marcos. Was it a larger size or a rare print? And Ginger said it was very large, 90 by 95 inches, and it was new old stock, meaning it was new in the package. So $10 sold for $175. Cheryl Brewer. About two years ago, I bought a very large lot of sterling silver jewelry and I'm still working my way through it. Many of the items are Native American designed and require a lot of research to ensure accurate representation. My cost per piece was around $15. This Navajo sterling silver and gemstone bangle sold in three weeks for best offer of $175 with free shipping. Okay, Ginger's back with a pair of boots. Bought these yesterday at a garage sale for $15. Sold today for $195 plus shipping. Danner River Gripper Felt Sole Fisherman Lace-Up Boots. New in the box. $15 sold for $195. And now we've got Michelle Martin in Australia. Purchased these for my daughter during lockdown on a great online sale. Sadly, wrong size researched on eBay and found them sold out everywhere and in demand. Purchased for $70, took best offer of $210 plus $85 shipping and taxes to the USA. Took three months to sell. Converse Run Star Hike Platform High Top. I guess these are high top sneakers. So her price was $70 and she sold them for $210 Australian dollars. Emily Ng found this blanket at a garage sale and paid $3. Sold in about a month for full asking price of $225 plus shipping. Went to Hawaii. This is Missoni for Target Retro Zigzag Two-Sided Blanket Throw. $3 sold for $225. And I remember back in 2011, Target did a collaboration with Missoni 
and sellers went crazy buying up as much as they could as fast as they could of this stuff because it was a limited collaboration and I personally bought some boots and I think sweaters mostly clothing so you were able to flip that because once it sold out in the stores it sold out in the stores there wasn't any more unless it was online so of course now 10 years later I'm kicking myself that I didn't buy more of the home goods and just hold on to them what a return on investment if you had done that but the stuff's still floating around out there as you can see Emily found this blanket for three bucks <laughs> and flipped it for 225 so pay attention to these zigzaggy almost chevron patterns with the multiple colors it could be from that Missoni Target collaboration and these items are still worth a lot of money okay Wendy Kruger is back paid four dollars at Goodwill sold for 225 plus local pickup in five weeks this buyer really wanted the tray she offered me hundred and fifty dollars the first time I listed it I passed and relisted it after a month she approached me again with a higher amount I did want to hold out for more but she clearly wanted this tray if I had picked this up at our local Goodwill it would have been in the case or they would have been asking a lot more our goodwill the next town over doesn't have the same caliber of price checking so this was a r and y Auguste paris chagrin geometric art deco style tray so art deco and she said it was four dollars and it sold for two hundred and twenty five next up is Carol Stanton this is the second Monster High doll sold from a lot purchase average cost per doll was fifteen dollars doll was delivered with positive feedback Monster High Draculaura adult collector doll 2015 sold for two hundred and thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents her cost was fifteen dollars and I really think this line of dolls is hilarious the names they use uh, very clever Draculaura I mean that's just that's just fun Lewis Prizzy the toy guy has something that's not a toy <laughs> he says great way to start the month purchase for $8.99 at a local thrift store listed for $2.99.95 sold this morning on best offer after about two months rare Jonathan Adler vice carbs canister $8.99 sold for $250 Brian Rappaport paid $60 for this die cast model at an estate sale in July sold for $279.99 plus shipping Franklin Mint 1939 Duesenberg Coupe Simone die cast purple 60 bucks sold for 280 Max Green I bought this Celine bag at Goodwill over a year ago for $7.99. I listed it in July and it sold for best offer of $300 with free shipping. So you can see there it is a Celine black leather bag with studs, embellished, satchel handbag. Lots of great keywords on there. $8 sold for $300. Lisa Acosta I found this vase at Goodwill for five dollars I knew it looked old but I didn't recognize the mark it took two months to sell for a counter offer of 325 I had it listed at 495 but was hoping for anything over 300 so I'm thrilled and this is a Rookwood pottery vase she paid five dollars sold it for 325 
Okay, the next item up is from Dawn Cutright Taylor. And there's a little conversation before we look at the item. I literally just sold this within the hour. My best sale to date and I'm over the moon. I owe this sale to Suzanne Wells. <laughs> oh, thank you. When listening to her podcast for the first time several weeks ago, I learned about the Clorox Bleach Pen Bolo. She didn't have to tell me twice. I started the hunt. Today, I sold all 25 of my stock for $400 with free shipping. After shipping costs to Canada, my investment costs and eBay fees, I should profit $226. And Ginger asked, where did you find that many? And Dawn said, I went to every Ace Hardware in and near my town. I scoured the web for their stock, purchased online, and then drove to pick them up. So congratulations, Dawn. You took that information and you hustled it and you made it happen. So the item is the cover item this month, lot of 25 Clorox bleach pens and she took an offer of $400 for these. And this is another example of, well, first of all, why you should listen to my podcast. <laughs> because I'm always dropping little tidbits of information in there. Um, but when you get this information, act on it. It's one thing to know something, but when you act on it, that's when the magic happens. So congratulations again, Dawn, for taking that information and making it happen. Next up is Jenny Payan, purchased for ourselves last year at Costco for about $350. We decided we wanted a solar one and no longer needed this one. Sold within a week of listing for full asking price of $600 plus $120 shipping, but not without lots of low offers in the $200 to $300 range. I was surprised at what the used ones were going for, so I priced mine higher since it was still new. The lady who purchased it said she was replacing hers that she had for years that she uses on her boat. The item is a Generac generator. She bought it for $350 and sold it for $600. And our last item and the highest dollar item is from a newbie. Her Facebook name is Summer Wares. She says, my first time posting. My name is Joanne, first full year of full-time reselling. Note, 95% of my eBay store is bread and butter items. I bought this item for $3 at an estate sale. There were two boxes of older PC games. I looked some up and this one seemed good. There was an auction going on eBay at the time and it was at $200, which a day later finished at $457. So I listed mine on auction, starting price of $319, and it sold for $639 plus shipping. I was in utter shock and was sure they wouldn't pay, but they did. And additional shipping to the United Kingdom through the Global Shipping Program. This is a big box PC game Dagger Falls Plus with strategy book and guide, which most of the other listings did not have. So first time posting, only been selling a year. And the item is this set of CD-ROM PC games with guides that sold for $639. Congratulations, Joanne, not only for your sale and the money in your pocket, but for being the highest priced item sold shown in this video. Thanks everybody for tuning in and watching and congratulations again and everybody have a profitable and productive and fun day on eBay. 
See you next time. Bye.